Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'll be looking at 3.8 modeling grid series. 3.8 represents chapter 3, section 8 of the person A Double Mass Pure Mass Year 2 textbook. Over here, I've got the key facts of chapter 3 sequences and series. I'll be implementing some of these key facts within exam style questions involving modeling grid sequences and series. Here is exam style question 1. Each year for 40 years, Anne will pay money into a savings scheme. In the first year, she pays in £500. Her payments then increase by £50 each year, so that she pays in £550 in the second year, £600 in the third year, and so on. Part A, find the amount that Anne will pay in the 40th year. Ladies and gents, the first step is to write down the first few terms in the sequence. So we have year one, £500, year two, £550, year three, £600, year four, £650, dot, dot, dot. Now over here, what we notice is that we have an arithmetic sequence. A, the first term is 500. D, the common difference is 50 because we're increasing by 50 pounds each year. Now in the question, we want to work out the amount that Anne will pay in the 40th year. So we're trying to calculate U40. The nth term formula of an arithmetic sequence is given by un equal a plus n minus 1 in brackets multiplied by d. So we're going to apply this formula. u40 is equal a, which is 500, plus n, which is 40, minus 1 in brackets multiplied by 50. So ladies and gents, we can put this into our calculator. So we have that u40 is equal to 2,450 pounds. So the amount that Anne will pay in the 40th year is 2,450 pounds. Moving on to part B. Find the total amount that Anne will pay in over the 40 years. So the key word is total. Now we're trying to calculate S40. Okay, the sum of the first 40 terms in the sequence. Equal. We can calculate this using the SN formula, which is a half n open square bracket 2a plus n minus 1 in bracket multiplied by d close square bracket. So I'm going to apply this formula. I've got a half in bracket 40 open square bracket 2 lots of a which is 500 plus open bracket 40 minus 1 close bracket multiplied by d which is 50 close square bracket so i can put this into my calculator and if i do this i get exactly 59000 pounds so the total amount that Anne will pay in over the 40 years is s40 which is 59000 pounds let's have a look at part c of exam style your question 1 over the same 40 years, Brian will also pay money into the savings scheme. In the first year, he pays in £890 and his payments then increase by £D each year. Given that Brian and Anne will pay in exactly the same amount over the 40 years, find the value of D. Ladies and gents, I'm going to write down the first few terms in the sequence for Brian. So we have that in year one, there is £890. In year two, there is 890 plus D, we're increasing by D pound each year. In year three, we have 890 plus 2D. In year four, we have 890 plus 3D, dot, dot, dot. So over here it says, given that Brian and Anne will pay in exactly the same amount over the 40 years, find the value of D. So we know that S40 for Anne is 59,000. So S40 for Brian is also 59,000. So what we have over here in this sequence is that A, the first term is 890. D, the common difference is just D. Okay, so um, S40, we're going to calculate an expression for S40 using the SN formula for an arithmetic series. So that formula is Sn equal a half n open square bracket 2a plus n minus 1 in brackets multiplied by d close square bracket. We're going to apply this formula. 
So we have that S40 is a half, 40 in brackets, open square bracket, two lots of 890 plus in bracket, 40 minus one lots of D, close square bracket. This must equal 59,000. We're going to simplify the left hand side and then we're going to solve the equation for D. So if I simplify the left hand side, I've got a half times 40, which is 20. In bracket, I've got 1,780 plus 39D. Okay, so that expression must equal 59,000. Okay, so now I can rearrange. I can divide both sides by 20. So I've got 1,780 plus 39D is equal to 2,950. I can subtract 1,780 on both sides. So I've got 39D is equal to 1,170. Okay? And so therefore, D is equal to 1,170 divided by 39. So if I put this into my calculator, I get precisely that D is equal 30. And that there, ladies and gents, completes part C and exam style question one. Here is exam study question two. A company made a profit of £20,000 in its first year of trading. A model for future trading predicts that the yearly profit will increase by 8% each year, so that the yearly profits will form a geometric sequence. According to the model, part A show that the profit for year three will be £23,328. Ladies and gents, the first step is to write down the first few terms in the sequence. So we have year one, the profit is £20,000. Then we've got year two. Each year we're increasing by 8%, so the multiplier is 1.08. So in year two, the profit is 20000 multiplied by 1.08, comma, dot, dot, dot. So we've got a geometric sequence with A, the first term, 20000 R, the common ratio, 1.08. We are multiplying by 1.08 each time. Part A show that the profit for year three will be £23,328. So we're trying to calculate U3. We can apply the nth term formula for a geometric sequence, and that is UN equal AR to the power N minus 1. So we have U3 is equal 20,000 multiplied by 1.08 to the power 3 minus 1. If I put this into my calculator, I get precisely 23,328 pounds. Part B, find the first year when the yearly profit will exceed 65,000 pounds. So I want to first of all work out the year N for which the profit is exactly 65,000 pounds. Then I know that the next year the profit will exceed 65,000 pounds. So UN is equal to A, which is 20,000, multiplied by 1.08 to the power N minus 1. This must equal 65,000. Okay, so now I need to solve for N. I can divide both sides of this equation by 20,000. So I've got one point. 08 to the power n minus 1 is equal 65,000 divided by 20,000. This is 3.25. I can apply natural logs on both sides to bring down the power. So I've got ln 1.08 to the power n minus 1 is equal ln 3.25. So now I can apply the power rule to bring down this power. So I've got n minus 1 in bracket multiplied by ln 1.08 equal ln 3.25. So now I can divide by ln 1.08 and then add 1. So n is equal ln 3.25 divided by ln 1.08 and then plus 1. So we've got n equal. I can put this into my calculator and I get n equal 16.3149 dot dot dot. Okay, so 
find the first year when the yearly profit will exceed 65,000 pounds. So the yearly profit will exceed 65,000 pounds in year 17. So that there, ladies and gents, completes part B of exam style question two. Let's have a look at part C of exam style question two. Find the total profit for the first 20 years of trading, giving your answer to the nearest 1,000 pounds. So the key word is total, and we're looking at 20 years. Hence, we're calculating S20. We can apply the SN formula for a geometric series, which is A multiplied by 1 minus r to the power n in brackets, divided by 1 minus r, where r is not equal to 1. So we already know that A, the first term, is 20,000, and we know that r, the common ratio, is 1.08, okay? And we also have that n is equal 20. So S20 is equal 20,000 uh, multiplied by square bracket 1 minus 1.08 in brackets to the power 20. Close square bracket all over 1 minus 1.08 in brackets. So I can put this into my calculator and if I do this I get S20 is equal 9152399.286. I need to round my answer to the nearest 1000. So to the nearest 1000, I will have S20 is equal 915,000 pounds. So that there completes part C and exam style question two. Here is exam style question three. A car has six forward gears. The fastest speed of the car in first gear is 28 km per hour. In sixth gear, it is 115 km per hour. Given that the fastest speed of the car in successive gears is modelled by an arithmetic sequence, part A, find the fastest speed of the car in third gear. So from the first bullet point, we know that A, the first term of the arithmetic sequence, is 28. From the second bullet point, we know that U6, is equal to 150. UN, the nth term formula for an arithmetic sequence is given by A plus N minus one D. So we have that U6 is equal 28 plus six minus one in brackets multiplied by D. So U6 is equal 28 plus five D. So we've got 28 plus 5D, which must equal 150. This will help us calculate D, the common difference. So we have 5D is equal 87, hence D is equal 87 divided by 5. So D is equal 17.4. Now what we want to do is find the fastest speed of the car in third gear. We are trying to calculate U. 3. So U3 is equal 28 plus 3 minus 1 in brackets multiplied by 17.4. We can put this into our calculator and if we do this we get U3 is equal 62.8 kilometers per hour. So the fastest speed of the car in third gear is 62.8 kilometers per hour. Let's have a look at part B of exam style question 3. Given that the fastest speed of the car in successive gears is modelled by a geometric sequence, part B find the fastest speed of the car in fifth gear. So from the first bullet point, we have that A is equal 28. From the second bullet point, we have that U6 is equal 150. Now UN, the nth term of a geometric sequence, is given by A r to the power n minus 1. Hence U6 is equal A, which is 28, r to the power 6 take away 1 which is 5. Now this implies that 28 r to the power 5 must equal 150. Now we can solve to find the common ratio. 
Okay, so we have that r to the power 5 is equal 115 divided by 28. Hence, r is equal to the fifth root of 115 over 28. Now we can find the fastest speed of the car in fifth gear. In other words, we're trying to calculate u5. So u5 is equal 28 multiplied by the common ratio, which is the fifth root of 115 over 28, to the power, okay, we have 5 take away 1, which is 4. Hence u5 is equal, we can put this into our calculator, and if we do this, we get 86.7 kilometers per hour to three significant figures. This completes part B and exam style question three, as well as this teaching video 3.8 modeling weird series. Now, if you found the video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.